my name is John Rock. I represent Jaka Ben, Joint Advocacy Committee of Australian Burma Ethnic Nationals. And, you know, when you talk about the bottom-up approach, and then you said it's not ethnic-based, it raised a bit of concern, for, quite a lot of concern for me, because, you know, the for federalism, actually, we've been has been with the ethnic minorities, the seven ethnic minorities, and you know there are a lot of other minorities as well. And uh, what what uh, you know we've been clamoring for, and now that the uh, the majorities also come in with us and say let's have federation as well, that's that that's very encouraging. And uh, Dr. Tonshu is right. This is if this is the time to do it. You know, we uh, the ethnics have been uh, clamoring for and fighting for the last seventy or eighty years. And what we want is a, a acknowledgement of the Pain Loan Treaty and also the uh, implementation of Bujo Onsan's 1947 Constitution. And the Bujo Onsan said, "Yeah, we we're going to have eight eight ethnic." states that's the Chin, Karan, Chin, and, and including Burma. So everybody, they are equal. And each state will have its own constitution, its parliament, and its judiciary. And that actually has been what the ethnic minorities have been wanting. And I'm just concerned that when you, when you say it's not ethnic-based, and we're going to have, you know, to really have a conversation on that from the point of view of ethnic minorities, because it, it's not what it's not what we were, were after. So, so how how would you you know how would you reconcile that? The other thing is listen to the minister's speech. Is it being construed that the structure, the eventual structure of Myanmar will be? You know, Myanmar at the moment have seven divisions and seven ethnic states. Is there going to be some change in terms of the structure there? And are there going to be different boundaries? And that's, that's another question. So how, how, how would the panel resolve that? Number three, the third one, and I'll, I'll finish now, is we have, you know, Myanmar is very ethnically diverse. And uh, we say there are, you know, seven, seven eight ethnic groups. That's, that's, that's very arbitrary, really. So you, you have Da'an, you have uh, Rohingyas, you have the Wa, you have the Lahu, and so on. How is you know, your vision of the federalism going to also cater for these, these other ethnic groups? So it's too many questions. Thank you very much. Uh, Marcus, do you want to take that? Well, I wanted to talk to you quite a bit. I think these are exactly the kind of questions. These are exactly the kind of questions that uh, much of the debate is about, but I think in this case, Minister Lian is probably better placed to give you a state of the debate. It doesn't really matter what I think about this and what I think is right or wrong. We are just supporting uh, an, an informed constitutional debate, but these are very much the some of the open questions that are also left open in this federal democracy charter. But Minister Sakon can probably give us some enlightenment on where things stand in terms of this debate. Thank you. Thank you so much for the question. And thank you so much for giving me opportunity to answer that important question. I think that in our charter, as Dr. Marcus Brand has mentioned, is we are just highlighting our vision for the future. But in this regard, I think the most proper way of saying on our charter will be a kind of a federal system that we are looking for is not purely ethnic based, nor not purely based uh, geographical federalism. I think it will be a combination because based on our country situation, I think we cannot follow geographical based state or ethnic based state alone. There will be some ethnic based state and there will be some geographical based state. I think this is a, a very important way of seeing our federalism because we cannot follow other countries, example, like in the, the United States where all the states are based on geography or in the former Soviet Union. We cannot do that because based on our country situation, I think those 
already existing, historically existing ethnic state will be as ethnic state. But in some areas, maybe we will or geographical based state like Arawadi, something like that. That is what we envision since early 2000s. And then when we produce FCDCC draft constitutions, I think that was how, how we envision for our future. But for the future, I think uh, we cannot decide everything right now. This is important matter. And then in terms of constitutional making process, we did not have a chance to properly discuss how we are going to do it. We never has chance of in our past history. So what we envision in the future is as soon as we start transitional period, we are going to convene to an assembly where we are going to debate and discuss about what kind of federalism, what kind of state, what kind of union we would like to establish for our own future. I think that's very important, whether it will be a state, whether it will be more than 14, I think our the gentleman who asked the question already mentioned about various ethnic groups like Walahu, whether they will be given a separate state or within, for example, in even in colonial period, Xi'an state was called a federated Xi'an state. So within federated Xi'an state, there was a Wa state, there was Kachin sub-state, and there are many more. So I think that is the options that we can look for. For example, whether the Burma will be one state or Burma uh, federated Burma state, upper Burma, lower Burma, or something like that. That is, we have several options, but we don't want to close all the options, open it, and then discuss properly when we start the transitional period. I think that will be a, a better answer. And then I think uh, the first and second question I could not pick up again. So I think that is what generally I would like to answer. And what is important is no matter how many states we have, no matter how many you know ethnic state or geographical based state we have, what is important is all the state must have equal opportunity and equal rights in terms of politics, in terms of other areas. And then for ethnic groups, what is important is not only political self-determination, but also cultural self-determination. We have to preserve, protect, protect, and promote our culture, our language, our ways of life. I think that is a very important area, which we clearly mentioned in our charter, that those ethnic groups should have the right to self uh, cultural self-determination as well as political self-determination we define mostly in terms of a state base not only not in terms of ethnic base but cultural self-determination we define in terms of ethnicity so that is I think that the clear line that we have tried to draw otherwise if we confuse these two sometimes we are confused in finding the solution so I think that also is a very important area we are looking at. And we are clearly, I just highlighted about how many principle we have and then how many guidelines we have. I just mentioned the five guidelines in 64 principle. I did not dwell in, in the substance. I did not dwell the, 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 the essence, which is, I think Dr. Marcus has highlighted very well. For us, I think these are federal charter is uh, our vision, our future. I think if we could, uh, we'll be based on making our constitution based on that charter. So uh, I'm very, very confident that we will be able to do it. We will be able to reestablish our country based on Panglong Agreement. In Panglong Agreement, Article 5 is clearly mentioned that the country should be based on where all the member states would have our self-determination. And then we'll practice a democracy, which is in Panglong article number seven. So I think we will be able to, this is what we are striving for all this year. This is the meaning of all our struggle is to, to, to achieve those Panglong agreement, to implement. And then if you, you look at the 70 years of arms conflict, civil war in our country, this is based on the reason that we were not able to implement Panglong agreement. But this is the time, this is opportunity, this struggle, I think we'll be able to achieve it. This is our determination. Thank you.